All right, today we're gonna look at just how easy it is to change an old bicycle tire and tube with nothing more than your hands and a hand pump. So I've got a new inner tube and a new bicycle tire. They come rolled up like that and we're gonna go ahead and replace that. It's quite easy. So the first thing that we need to do is let all the air out of this tire right here and then we're gonna pull off the old inner tube and tire from the rim. So let's get started. All right, so I got all the air out of the tire and what I need to do is go ahead and remove this off of the rim and if it gets a little bit to be stubborn odds are you probably have not gotten all the air out of the tire and there we go we've got that off so I should be able to just pull this directly off probably need to get a little bit more there we go now we still got just a little bit of air left in there and again if it's being stubborn you can take that air off and then once you get enough of that air there we go and it comes right off the rim so right now I've got the new tire out of the box and what I like to do is just go ahead and kind of give it a little bit of shape because it's been wrapped up in the box just make sure that we get it into its shape when we get ready to put it on the, uh, the tire. So I just kind of go around like this and get that tire ready to be replaced. The first, and it, it might curl up like that, but we'll do that right, right when we're ready to get in there. So the first thing we want to do, here's the new inner tube, and we need to put just a little bit of air into it, not too much because it'll make it difficult to get the new tire on, but we want to put a little bit of air into this to give it some shape. And that's all, actually that might even be just a hair too much. I only put three pumps into it. And we're gonna go ahead and feed that into the rim itself. And these inner tubes do come with a little tool, if needed, that'll help us wedge the tire back on later. Uh, ordinarily, if I do it just right, I can get this done without. Now, one of the things that you're going to want to make sure is that you keep this valve aligned perpendicular to the um, to the rim itself. Because if it's pinched, if it's sideways, this is a lot of times where you can have valve failure. So right here, we want it real nice and perpendicular to the rim. And then at this point, this is the last step. We'll need to, and, and it's a, again, it's, it takes a little bit of shaping on the tire itself. But now you can see, once we get it around, we'll go ahead and fit this. And this guy, it takes a little bit of finagling. So again, we just want to get this, uh, we, just, we just have to maneuver the new tire over. And again, if you put too much air, into that inner tube, then this, this is gonna make it a little bit more difficult. But at this point, I just about got it over the entire rim. All right, there we go. So now, we've at least got, we've got the valve through the rim, keeping it straight. We do not want that in an angle or pinched. We got just a little bit of air in the inner tube. And now it's time to start uh, getting the new tire back onto the rim. And the way I do this is essentially I will start pinching it to get it in like this and I'll keep going around little by little as it pops into the rim and I just keep going around working it onto the rim making sure that it's nice and snug and then we've got one side and then this is the last side this is where it'll take a little bit more work and then we'll be able to inflate the tire so again same thing just going all the way around working it in with my hands making sure that the other side doesn't pop out at the same time making sure to keep that that valve perpendicular we don't really want we don't want that at an angle or get pinched and just keep going around and around around Last little bit here, 
really not that difficult, boom, we are done. And that's it. So now we're completely on. We've got our uh, valve in good shape right here. We've kept the tire on the rim. At this point, we can start to inflate it to the proper inflation. And one last trick you might want to do, um, sometimes I like to have where the proper tire pressure is to align um, right where the valve was on the inner tube. So that way when you're looking, it's just an easy reminder, but not, not a requirement. So anyway, that's the easy way to replace uh, a tire on an old uh, tire and an inner tube on a old bicycle. Hope that helped.